conditional probability. Conditional probability is a, uh, is, is, is a probability of an event given some other event is occurring. Okay? Now, say for example, uh, there, there are many instances when we are interested in conditional probability. For example, what is the mean of, say, problem solving uh, score in an experiment given the intelligence of the individual? Okay? Given the intelligence of the individual, say somebody has IQ of 140, what would be the mean score on, say, problem solving experiment? Right? is a question that I am interested in. Or, what is the variance of the, uh, the problem solving score when intelligence takes a value 140? Or, I can ask the question, if intelligence takes certain values, what is the uh, conditional mean of problem solving scores? What is the expectation of problem solving scores for uh, 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 for intelligence. So basically what I am asking is, the question I am trying to ask is, if x takes a value, x takes a particular value, given that x has taken that value, what is the chance that y will take a specific value or y will take certain set of values. Now, jointly distributed random variables are uh, so far we were writing, say, when I'm writing x, I, will, I used to write, say, 1, 2, 3, or uh, 6.2 times. So these are the values of x I used to write. It's a single value of x. So participant 1 has a value 1, 2 has a value 2, 4 has a value 6.2 kinds of, right? Now, when I write a jointly distributed variable, I don't write a single value. See, for example, what I do, I administer a problem solving task or I do an experiment that involves problem solving and I, I assign points to people depending on whatever the formula that I have in mind that uh, the simplest one is you get one point if you solve it correctly, zero points if you solve it incorrectly, right? You don't solve it. So, I, I have an experiment wherein I give points to people on the problem solving task and I have intelligence test scores of those people. Say for example, my participant one has got uh, six points on problem solving task and has got a IQ of 138. My participant two has got two points on uh, PS task and got an IQ of 116. One of the participants has got eight points on this task and has an IQ of 141. So, what I'm actually writing, I'm not writing one single number as an expression. I'm writing, this is my jointly distributed variable. This variable is, so, if, if my value of x, x is taking these values. x is taking, a, for, for first observation, x takes a value 6, 138. For second observation, x takes a value 2, 116. For third observation, x takes a value 8, 1, 4, 1. So, uh, actually, my x is taking more than one values. Okay? It's jointly distributed uh, random variable, and so it has this joint uh, uh, distribution structure. Okay? So, I, I would perhaps place this on a xy coordinate if I have to uh, do this. I would put intelligence here and problem solving here and then I place scores of people uh, believing that this is 110. Uh, this is a person who has 139 on intelligence test and problem solving test score is 6. Right? So I can actually place it on a plane. Fine. So are these two different variables how you, because like one is for me, and one is for me, X is now a jointly distributed random variable, right? It's a single variable for me, which is jointly distributed. The value that variable is taking is 638, 26, 116, uh, uh, 8, uh, 141, and so on and so forth, right? 
So I would assume this to be a single variable, right? Yeah. Uh, so now let's think of some simple examples which we will try and solve, and uh, this ultimately would reach to <coughs> conditional expectation. That is conditional mean of the uh, jointly distributed random variable, and uh, at the end we would perhaps write what is uh, very famously called as Bayes theorem or Bayes rule. Okay, uh, but let's work it through because I'm more interested in showing that uh, how you reach to whatever we are doing than simply writing a formula that probability of A given B is uh, probability of A B given probability of uh, divided by probability of B. How do we reach to this? So let's let's do a simple thing. Uh, so suppose I'm doing five experiments in decision making. Okay, five tasks I have. So I have a decision making experiment. Five decision making experiments. Now we know typically that uh, this decision making experiment would either result into a correct decision or an incorrect decision, right? So how many possible outcomes are there in the sample space? For first task, there are two outcomes. So for this entire experiment of five tasks, we'll have? Two raised to five. That is, first has outcome two outcomes, and to second has two outcomes, and to third has two outcomes, and to fourth has two outcomes, and to fifth has two outcomes is equal to two raised to five is equal to thirty-two outcomes. Right? We've done this before. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I call uh, if the outcome is correct, I call it C. And if the outcome is incorrect, so is correct outcome. And if outcome is incorrect, then I call it mistake. Okay, I call it a mistake. Okay. Uh, now, what would be my sample space? Uh, let's write the sample space. My sample space is, see, all outcomes are correct. We have done this before, so I don't think there should be any issue for you to do this. So all let's start with all correct outcomes. C C C C C C C C C So now we will start with one mistake. C C C C M. Now this mistake moves. C C C M C C then C C M C C then C M C C C then M C C C C right now two mistakes C C C M M C C M C M right C M C C M M C C C M. Okay, so the two mistakes were occurring at the last positions. Now we shift them. C C M M C. Right? Then C M C C C. Right? C C C M C. Right? Now M C C M C. Uh, now we shift them to the next position. That is C M M C C. Now M C M C C. Okay. Now we shift them to even further position. That is, uh, we, they were at this position together. So now it is M, M, C, C, C. Okay? Now, uh, are we through with all 
possibilities of 2m? Are we through with all possibilities of 2m? Okay. So C C M M M. Okay. Then C M C M M. Then M C C M M. Then three M's here. Now all of them shift a bit. So C M M M C. Now M C M M C. Now uh, this uh, they, they, they were here. So this has to move. So M M C M C. Right? Now this has to move. That is uh, M M M C C. Right? Is there any uh, option we left in three M's? MC 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 we did not do? Yeah. That is M C M C M. We didn't do this? No. Okay. So did we do M C M M C? M C M M C? Yes. Yeah. We did. M C M C M M C? No? Yes, yes. The last one, the first one. Last one. We did. Fourth last. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. MC, MMC. Right. So, four mistakes. Uh, no. C, M, 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 M. Then, C, sorry, M, M C M M M. Then M M C M M. Then M M M C M. Then M M M C. And last would be all M. We have thirty two. Please count. I hope we've written all possibilities. They don't be in chat. There's two possibilities we did not write. Which are they? There's two Two of the possibilities we did not find. Yeah, uh, we wrote this, and then you also did not write uh, along with this M M. This one. This one. So. This is moving this side, so M C M C M. We wrote that. Then M M C C M. M M C C M. M M C C M. We did not write, and uh, perhaps uh, M M C C C. No. One of the possibilities. So right? it is done now. Yeah. Yeah. No. One of the possibilities still we did not write, but okay. Uh, fine. The, there are these 32 possibilities. One of the possibilities we figure it out which one we did not write and we'll write it. Uh, well, uh, one, we are singing chart part Saha. Yeah. Uh, so we define random variable in such a way that x is number of correct responses on first three trials 
and wise correct responses on all possible tracks. Okay, now <coughs> let me define this random variable. Okay, now this random variable is I, I call this Z. I need to call it something, so I call it Z Y X one. Right now, if I have to define this random variable, then I would write okay z is equal to let's go one by one what is the value z is going to take here 3 and 5 right 3 and 5 then 3 and 4 then 3 and 4 then 2 and 4 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 then 2 and 4 this one we have 2 then 3 and 3 2 and 3 2 and 3 2 and 3 2 and 3 where are we? Here, right? No. This one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. Here we are, right? Yeah. So this one is 2 and 3. Uh, now this one is 2 and 3. This is 2 and 3. This is also 2 and 3? 1 and 3. 1 and 3? 1 and 3. 1 and 3? 1 and 3. 1 and 3? Then? 2 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 2 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 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Then 1 and 2. And then 1 and 2. And then 0 and 2. Back in, like the 0 and 2. 1 and 1 and 1 and 2. 1 and 1 and 2. 1 I am not following what you are telling, I am simply <laughs> copying what you are saying. Which one are you talking about? This one? This one? This, one? this is 1 and 2, right. 0 and 1. 0 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Right? So this is, these are values of random variable. Uh, Char and char, art and char, bar and char, so and char, bees, chovies, artavis, ekontis, tis, ektis, but 32 values we have. Now, this kind uh, of variable takes these 32 values. These 32 values are how, how did we get these values? They are not there in sample space. We actually specified a random variable as x is equal to x is equal to correct responses on first three and y is equal to correct responses on all right this is how we got x and y x and y did not exist in the sample space you remember we were doing that uh, uh, example of a problem solving experiment where there were two problems to be solved and we defined y as number of points earned. Number of points never existed in the sample space. Sample space was SS, FF, FS and FF. So similarly, this is our sample space. Now, the x and y did not exist in sample space on its own. Okay? x and y will be part of, uh, uh, x and y are variables that we have created, we have created a variable z which is 
jointly distributed, which is x and y, where x is correct response of the first three trials and uh, uh, y is correct response of all possible trials. This gives us the random variable. This gives us the random variable z. Z has all these values, right? Now, what I can actually do is I can uh, place all these z values into a tabular format where I actually uh, say what x is and what y is. Let's do it. This is my y. Now, y takes various values, okay? y will take a value from 0 to 5. So, y takes a value 0, y takes a value 1, y takes a value 2, y takes a value 3, y takes a value 4, and y takes a value 5. Right? Now, this side is my x. Right? So, x takes a value... x takes a value... 0, x takes a value 1, x takes a value 2, and x takes a value 3. Right? Fine. Now, once I have this, uh, when will x take a value uh, 0, and y will take a value 0? It will happen if x is 0, y is 0 x is 0, y is 0 has happened here. That's only once. Okay? That's only once. Now, x takes a value 1, y takes a value 0. When will that happen? x takes a value 1, y takes a value 0. This is not possible because I'm saying that there is one success in first three trials and no success in all trials. It's impossible. So, this will not be possible. Right? So is the case with x takes a value 2 but y takes a value 0. It is not possible. Right? The, such outcomes don't exist in the sample space. Uh, 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 such value doesn't exist for this random variable. Okay? Uh, not sample space. And that is First two successes and no success in all is not possible. So is the case with this uh, 3, 0 is not possible. Now, x takes a value 0. x takes a value 0. y takes a value 1. How many times is it? Twice. 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 x takes a value 0. y is taking a value 1. x is taking a value 0 y is taken a value 1. These are the two instances that we have found. Now, x takes a value 1, y takes a value 1. 1, 1. How many times 1, 1 has a third? Twice, twice. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Right? So, 3 times 1 and 1 occurred. So, there was one success in first three trials, and there's one success in all the trials is only three times it can happen. So next is there's the two successes on first two trials, and there's one success on all the trials is not possible. Right? So is the case with three successes in first three trials and one success on all trials is not possible. Right? So we're done with this. Okay? Now uh, Look at this, y, x takes a value 0, y takes a value 2. x takes a value 0, y takes a value 2. Here it has happened. Is, is, is it happening anywhere else? No. So it has happened once. Now, x takes a value 1, y takes a value 2. 1, 2. Where all it has happened? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 times it has happened that uh, y has taken a value 2 and x has taken a value 1. Right? Now next is x is taking a value 2, y is also <coughs> taking a value 2. Thrice. 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 3 times it has happened. Where is it? Here, here and here. Okay? So, 4 times. 4 times. Where is the 4th one? No, 
this to happen three times, actually. One, two, three. No, three. 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 No? Three. It has happened only three times. Okay? So, next is x takes a value 3, y takes a value 2 is impossible. This will happen 0 times. Right? Now, uh, x takes a value 0, but y has taken a value 3. It will happen only once. Not possible? Yeah. Uh, the, this is not possible because if x is, uh, if all possible, all outcomes are 3, then there has to be 1 at least in the first 3. So this is not possible. 1 and 3. 1 and 3 is possible, right? 1, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3. 3 times 1, 3 has occurred? Yeah. 3 times 1, 3 has occurred, right? Now, 2, 3. 2, 3 is more likely to occur. 2 successes. 6 times it has occurred? 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3. 6 times it has occurred. 3, 3. It will occur only once. First 3 are successes and uh, uh, the rest 2 are failures. Right? So only once it can occur. Now, x takes a value 0, y takes a value 4 is not possible. x takes a value 1, y takes a value 4 is also not possible. x takes a value 2 and y takes a value 4 is possible. If x takes a value 2, y takes a value 4 is possible. 2, 4. 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, thrice. 2, 4 is uh, 3 times it is occurred and 3, 4. So x takes a value 3, y takes a value 4, twice it has happened. 2, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, right? Now if y takes a value 5, x can't take a value 0, uh, sorry, this is 1, is it possible? Even that is not possible. So the only possibility is 3, 5, 3, 5 is how many times? Only once. Where is it? 3, 5 is the first. So this is the last outcome, 0, 0. This is the first outcome, right? Now, uh, how many times x has occurred? We can count, right? So x is equal to 2. Uh, x is equal to 0. Right? x is equal to 0 has occurred once, then twice here, and once here. So x is equal to 0 has occurred in all four times. x is equal to 0 has occurred. So I'm doing total of x. <coughs> right? So x has occurred <coughs> 0 times, has happened four times x is equal to 0 has happened 4 times. x is equal to 1 is 3 plus 6, 9 plus 3, 12. 12 times x has taken a value 1. Okay? x has taken a value 2 12 times. And x has taken a value 3 4 times. In all, if I do the total, this has to be 32. So is the case with total of y. If I do the total of y, then y is equal to 0 happens only once, y is equal to 1 happens 5 times, y is equal to 2 is happening 10 times, y is equal to 3 is happening also 10 times, this is y is equal to 4 happening 5 times, and y is equal to 5 happening only one occasion. Right? So now, what we can actually do is, I can convert this table into a table of probabilities, okay, into a table of probabilities, that is, for each of this, I can actually find out 
Is it okay if I erase this part? Yes. Uh, what I can actually do is I would look at the uh, probabilities associated with y and find out how many times this particular instance is occurred. Say for example, I have x, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, right? y is equal to 0 y is equal to 1, y is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, y is equal to 4, and y is equal to 5. Okay, and this is the margin. I need a margin because I need to demonstrate marginal probabilities. Now, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 0 has occurred once. Out of how many times? 32 times. Out of 32 times, it has occurred only once. Rest as 0, so I would not perhaps work through there. Then y is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0 has occurred 2 times in 32. This is 3 times in 32. This is 0, 0. So I'm not bothered about that. Uh, 2, 0 and 2 has occurred once, so 1 in 32, this is 6 in 32, and 3 in 32, 0, right? Then 0, 3, 6, 1, 0, 3 in 32, 6 in 32, and 1 in 32, right? Now, 4 is uh, 0, 0, 3, 2. So, I would not write probabilities associated with 0 outcomes. Uh, 0, 0, 3, 2, right? So, 3 in 32 and 2, 2 in 32, right? And 5 is uh, all zeros except 1, 1 in 32. Fine. Now, what am I interested in? I am interested in probabilities of uh, each of the outcomes. So, now if I, I look at say probability of x is equal to 0, okay, probability of x is equal to 0, what is the chance that x will be 0? How do I get the chance of x taking a value 0? Okay, x taking a value 0. x takes a value 0 is 4 out of 32. x is equal to 1 is 12 by 32. x is equal to 2 is 12 by 32 and 4 by 32. So these are the probabilities of x. So I, I, I call this f of x. This is a function that gives me probability of x. But these are just probabilities of x. I'm not looking at y when I'm computing probabilities of x. So do I can do with probabilities of y. So uh, this is 1 by 32. This is 5 by 32. This is 10 by 32. This is uh, Again, 10 by 32, this is 5 by 32, and this is 1 by 32, right? So if you sum them, they would be 32 by 32. This would be, would be 1. This is the entire sample space, okay? Right? So I, I call this as this, this particular value. I, I take any value, say 6 by 32, is a joint probability. 
probability that x takes a value 2 and y takes a value 4. So if I have to denote probability that x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4, then probability of x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4 is 3 by 32. Right? I can denote probability of x is equal to 2, y is equal to 4 as 3 by 32. Right? So these are my uh, so, the things that I write in margin are called as marginal probabilities, okay? Uh, so, how do I got this? I, I, I got probability of 4 by 32 as, actually, is it okay if I erase this now? So how did I get this 4 by 32? It is probability of x takes a value 0, y takes a value 0, plus probability that x takes a value 0, y takes a value 1, plus probability of x takes a value 0, y takes a value 2, plus probability of x takes a value 0, y takes a value 3, plus probability of x takes a value 0, y takes a value 4, plus probability of x takes a value 0, y takes a value 5. Right? If I do this, I get 4.32. And these probabilities then are, so uh, probability of x is equal to 4, uh, sorry, x is equal to 0 is probability that x takes a value 0, y takes a value 0, plus probability that x takes a value 0, y takes a value 1, and so on and so forth, which is actually uh, 1 by 32 plus 2 by 32 plus 1 by 32 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 4 by 32. Right? Then just 4 by 32, then I would call marginal probability. I would call 4 by 32 is as, as marginal probability. Right? Now, uh, what I can actually do is uh, I can compute expectation. I can compute expectation expectation of x and expectation of y. So I compute expectation of x and expectation of y. What is expectation? How do I write expectation? Expectation of x is equal to summation x px. Right? x px. Now, what is expectation x? Expectation x is equal to summation x px, that is x takes a value 0, right, x takes a value 0, so probability of x is equal to 0 into x, what is x? 0, right, x px, so if you need to correctly write it, I write it, x takes a value 0, into probability that x takes a value 0, into probability that x is equal to 0, right? Right? Yes. This is i is equal to 1 to infinity, so xi, uh, probability of xi, right? So, x takes a value 0 multiplied by its own probability, plus x takes a value 1 multiplied by probability that x takes a value 1 plus 2 into probability that x is equal to 2 plus 3 into probability that x is equal to 3 and that's it because x takes values from 
uh, 0 to 3. Now, is it okay if I erase this? Right? So, uh, expectation x then is, expectation x then is, 0 multiplied by anything would be 0, plus, this is 1 into probability of 1. So, 1 into probability of getting 1 is 12 by 32, plus, 2 into probability of getting 2, that is 12 by 32, plus, sorry, plus 3 into 4 by 32, I know the answer of this is 1.5. Okay, so the mean or the expectation of x in this case is 1.5, right? I can similarly compute expectation of y. I am leaving it to uh, leaving it with you. I'm not doing it. What I will do is I would also quickly compute variance of x. How do I compute variance? I compute variance of expectation x square minus expectation x, the whole square. So, expectation x square minus expectation x, the whole square. Okay? Right? So, I know what the expectation x is. I know what the expectation x is. Expectation x is 1.5. Expectation x is 1.5. So I do a square of 1.5. What I need to do is I need to work through expectation of x square. Expectation of x square. So what is expectation of x square? What is expectation? Expectation is x px, right? So I have to multiply x by its own probability. Now, instead of x, I would multiply x square by its own probability, right? Right? I would multiply x by its own probability. Uh, uh, sorry, instead of multiplying x by its own probability, I would multiply x square by its own probability, right? So, uh, my first value of x is 0. 0 multiplied, uh, uh, 0 square multiplied by anything would be 0. So, I'm not much bothered about that is going to be 0. Okay. My x is 1. 1 square is 1 multiplied by its probability that is uh, what is the probability of getting x is equal to 1? 12 by 32 remains 12 by 32 because I am multiplying it by uh, x square x is 1 1 square is 1 so it remains 12 by 32 right? yeah ok now my next value of x is 2 2 square is uh, 4 4 multiplied by 12 by 32 is the uh, next value. Plus, next value is 3, 3 square 9, 9 by probability of 9, probability of 3, sorry, that is 4 by 32 is the next value. If I do this, I would add, and this all I put here, minus expectation x is what? 1.5 the whole square. Now, since I've solved it, I know the answer of this, and that is 0.75. Okay, so I'm not much interested in the answer per se. Not much interested in the answer per se. I'm interested in the process. Okay, so because rest of the computation is eighth grade computation. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you took x square, but, uh, but the probability you take of x. x, p, x, probabilities would not change. Probabilities are probabilities so associated x, with x. x, p, x would be now x square plus probability, uh, sorry, into probability of x square, right? No.